Gracias. San Quentin is one of the most recognizable prisons in California, possibly the nation, not just because of its location. We know it sits on some of the most valuable land in the Bay Area with views of the San Francisco Bay, but also because of some of the state's most infamous inmates. Charles Manson, Scott Peterson have served time there. But in the future, San Quentin will no longer be a maximum security facility. Let's take you to a live picture right now where Governor Gavin Newsom is expected to speak any minute now about a plan to transform San Quentin into a facility that he says will focus more on rehabilitation, education, and job training for lower security inmates. Now, the governor will be speaking at that podium you see there in the middle of your screen any minute now. San Quentin would no longer have a death row. The governor wants San Quentin to follow a prison model that's used in Norway. The objective? to prepare inmates to return to society when their sentence is up by giving them job training and teaching them how to live on their own while they are incarcerated. Other states like Oregon, North Dakota, and Pennsylvania have tried this with some success. Norway has one of the lowest recidivism rates. About three out of every four people incarcerated there don't end up in prison ever again. Now, I spoke with the co-director of programs for the Ella Baker Human Rights Center. James King has been an advocate for prison reforms. He was incarcerated at San Quentin for six years and was released when his sentence was commuted back in 2019. He says he applauds the governor's idea to focus on rehabilitation at San Quentin, but is worried about how well it could actually work in a prison setting. I don't believe that um, prisons are the most effective site for rehabilitation um, or even a feasible site for rehabilitation. There's a saying we had uh, that I've heard over the years, you can't get well in a cell. I'm very glad the governor's thinking about this. I think even more imagination and, and more creativity is called for. There's a way to bring people home offer them the same services and um, resources in the community that will be much more effective. Now, we also contacted the Union for California Prison Guards, the California Correctional Peace Officers Association, for their take on the governor's plans for San Quentin. We did not hear back from them, but the president of that union did tell the Los Angeles Times that, quote, we are 100 percent behind the Norway project when it's done right, end quote. We're working to gather more details on what exactly he means by that. But the governor set aside $20 million in his recent state budget to pay for this transformation of San Quentin. Again, he is scheduled to speak about it any minute now. Uh, my colleague Brooks DeRose is there at San Quentin. He'll have more details on this plan about that prison's future in our later newscast. Gassia, back to you. Allie, thank you.